Now, knowing that everything begins with awareness, it's also important to understand that everything in your life is temporary. The only thing that lasts a lifetime and past your lifetime is your character. So going towards a goal and achieving a money value, a house value, a business value, that will be gone. But the character development that you receive by growing into a business, growing into your career, growing financially, growing your material items, the individual you become along the way will last a lifetime. Welcome back to the Prosperous Life Podcast. This is Braden Belknap. I'm a transformational life coach, entrepreneur, and each week I bring you a transformational message that will allow you to become your authentic self, create your vision for life so that you can live a prosperous life while making an impact. With that in mind, today we're talking all about taking ownership over your life, taking not just a small ownership, taking the full ownership. You see, it wasn't until I took the full ownership over my life where my life began to transform. It wasn't because bad teachers that I had bad grades anymore. It's because I wasn't putting in the effort. It's not that I'm not, my family's not rich, that I'm not doing good financially. It wasn't because the government anymore. It wasn't because our president It wasn't because our society, it wasn't because my education, it wasn't because I wasn't gifted the athletic ability to get a scholarship. 100% of my life was me. And when I took 100% responsibility for my life, my result became my responsibility So I did the thing to get the result that I was looking for in life. So yeah, this podcast is for you, whether you're 100% victim or whether you take 100% responsibility of your life. With that in mind, I want to thank you. I want to thank you guys showing up every single week, coming back over and over again. And as we go through this podcast today, if you find any sort of transformation, If you find this to guide you to living a prosperous life, I encourage you to share this with a friend. That doesn't just allow this podcast and me to reach more people. It allows you and I to make a difference together. With that in mind, let's go ahead and dive in. Today, we talk about the problem that people have in blaming others. That way they don't have to point the finger on themselves. A lot of people blame the world. And through blaming the world, it doesn't serve them or the world. The people that are poor blaming the rich tend to stay poor. The person blaming society on why they have a crappy job tends to keep having a crappy job. The person blaming society on why their business has failed usually tends to keep having a failed business. It's no longer that way anymore. You have full responsibility. There is zero excuses. Understand, and yes, I do understand that people are ingrained, especially from childhood. And after you get out of that childhood or that environment or that situation that ingrained a memory in you that has created these beliefs, you've gotten out of that. You took ownership and got out of what created that result. Now, it's your choice to either stay that way, keep that belief, keep making the same excuse, or... You can transform that and choose to transform every single day. 
So what's it going to be? Staying where you're at? Staying stuck? Or are you going to begin to transform? When you choose to transform from victim to responsible and being a responsible individual in society and your community and for yourself and your family, your life is black and white. Your life will begin to look so much different than what it used to look like, even from some simple perspective changes. With that in mind, we'll talk about the awareness aspect, transforming that and really understanding so that you can transform and take action and have your life be prosperous and never look the same. With that in mind, the first area which any transformation occurs in is awareness. Are you aware in this moment of where you're at? Are you aware of the excuses you're making? Are you aware of the blame you've put on other people? Are you aware that you've been problem-based focused instead of solution-based focused? Are you really aware? And if you're not, that's okay. That's an awareness in itself that you're not aware so that you can choose to become aware. Now, Knowing that everything begins with awareness, it's also important to understand that everything in your life is temporary. The only thing that lasts a lifetime and past your lifetime is your character. So going towards a goal and achieving a money value, a house value, a business value, that will be gone. But the character development that you receive by growing into a business, growing into your career, growing financially, growing your material items, the individual you become along the way will last a lifetime. So who do you want to become? If you were to shake God's hand, would you say, yeah, I, I was poor because of the rich? Would you say I was poor because of the government? Would you say I was lazy and I didn't have a job because of the government? Would you say my business sucks and I wasn't successful because of the government? Would you blame your family, really? God gave you the pain and the pleasures of life, and he uses everything. He uses everything. I mean, think of it like a cake, right? You have your egg, you have your flour, you have your sugar, you have your mix, you have your vanilla, you have your chocolate or whatever the case is. Now, how good would uh, eating a yolk on its own taste? Pretty crappy. How good is flour eating it on its own? Pretty crappy. So it all mixed together can make a really good cake. <laughs> So if you put the blame on the yolk, the egg, the flour, the not so good things of life, you miss the entire point. God gave you those things in life to make something great. And if you're trying to take it out, you're going to make a pretty messy cake that doesn't taste very good. And it'll show when you shake God's hand. So why not take those things and use them? Sure, it was a painful experience. We, we have painful experiences. And if you have more painful experiences than other people in life, what that means to me is that you have a purpose. You have more opportunities to serve people. You have more opportunities to show the world the lightness on the other side. You have more opportunity to meet a fellow stranger at a store that is going through something that you just went through a year ago. If you keep quiet and you have a crappy life because of it and the world's to blame, 
Well, you just lost an opportunity to serve a soul. Yet if you took ownership, you optimized that yoke, you optimized the flower, you optimized the painful experiences in life, and you become aware of how those have served you, you then get to serve another soul. And you're going to make this impact that will last a lifetime. Unfortunately, most people don't see it that way. Unfortunately, most people find the pain and use the blame as a reason why they don't find the success that they're looking for. The question is, are you going to make a runny, not so good looking, not so good tasting cake? Or do you want to become aware with me? transform today and make a really bomb cake that when you shake God's hand you can honestly say I did everything and anything I showed up my best every single day and I made my cake what's it gonna be so if you want to go along this journey with me let's continue now if you can ask yourself Am I 110% committed to greatness? If you aren't, this podcast probably isn't for you. This is for anybody that's looking to be great in life. So let's start there. Where are you today? What people are you hanging around? What beliefs do you carry today that are no longer serving you and be, being great? Where in your life are you not taking full ownership and responsibility? Where in life are you doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing? Where in life have you known you want to do something that you haven't been doing? Where in life have you shot to get a result, fallen short, and gave up and haven't shared or pursued that goal for a long time? Are you now eating your emotions with food, through drugs, through a relationship, through social media? Or are you just not allowing yourself to experience the pain that you've given up on life? Now, what if, what if in this moment that all transformed, you chose to take full responsibility and go after those things that you've been wanting to go through for a very long time? So take in that awareness. Ask yourself those questions. There's a lot more questions you could ask, but just ask yourself questions to understand one thing. Where in life can I take responsibility today so that I can get the result that I want? Again, once you take ownership, you will transform everything. Your life will begin to be black and white. Your cake will begin to come together. This isn't a 1% to 100% process. This is a journey. You have to understand that the coolest and amazing things in life started somewhere. The Grand Canyon started with a river. The Grand Canyon would not be the what it is today if it didn't start small. The National Forest of the Redwoods. All those trees started with a seed. Think of it, Tony Robbins started with a book. Jay Shetty started with a book. Colby started with shooting one basketball. Messi started kicking one soccer ball. Everything that's great in life started from something so small. So take 100% responsibility in knowing where you want to go and what you can do today. Understand this will be a journey. This is a journey of a lifetime. Make no apology. This is your life. Own it. Don't allow anybody to get into your way. Whether it's your family, parents, siblings, cousins, in-laws, friends that you've had for years, strangers, the economy, the community, society as a whole. Don't allow anybody to come in to, and interfere with that. Have strong boundaries. Own this. And when you own it and you work your butt off towards one thing 
and you want to become great on that one thing, and you put your head down, you're deliberate, you're persistent, you own it, you take responsibility for any result you get, and you have the right mindset paired with it, only God knows that you will succeed. Only you know you will succeed. And when I say that, only you know, it's because only you and God need to know. That relationship and achieving your destiny is between you and God. That's nobody other's businesses. So if your mother-in-laws, parents, siblings, cousins, friends, society, friends don't believe in you, it's not your business. Make no apology. Own it. Own the result. Own what you want in life and go out and get it. Really understand. You know what you know what you want to transform. So understand the way that you've been living. Without understanding, you'll never transform. So begin to understand that you have to transform yourself on a conscious basis. I'm consciously moving my hand right now, but subconsciously, my blood flowing, my thoughts, my memory, what my body is doing internally is not conscious. It's unconscious. So let's bring that in forward into the physical world, right? If you're driving... You can program your car where to go and it'll start going because you've programmed it, right? It's going to automatically go to where what you've told it to go. Now just imagine this, right? You've already set auto for it to auto go and you try to forcefully go somewhere else. You've already programmed that car to go somewhere else. So if you let go of that wheel, guess what? It's not going where you want anymore. It's going where you've already programmed it to go. So you cannot force on a conscious basis where to go. You need to be working on the conscious basis and the conscious. Sorry, the subconscious and the conscious levels. When you work on the conscious and the subconscious level, what that means is your mind and your heart connect. And when they're connected, anything can happen. Because subconsciously, it's set where you want to go and consciously. That way you're working 24-7 to get there. No matter what, if you, those two aren't working together, you'll always end up where you subconsciously believe. Because sooner or later, you're going to go to sleep. Sooner or later, you're not going to be motivated. Sooner or later, things are going to get hard. Sooner or later, things won't be easy. Sooner or later, there might be somebody in your life that's important to you that doesn't support you. Sooner or later, it'll become easy to give up. And you can use that pain, that yoke, the flower, to mold you, to push you forward. And if you've worked on a conscious and subconscious basis, that pain, that hard time, you'll be able to overcome it because no matter what, your brain is set on something extraordinary. Extraordinary. So don't just work on a conscious basis. Go, go into the deep. Understand it. What, what pain are you experiencing? Let's say right now, your reason for not having a job right now is because of the government. Or you're poor because of the government. Or you're poor because of your family. Or you have a messed up life because of your family. What, what, by holding on to that belief and those thoughts, that language, those emotions, how is that serving your world? How is it serving you? Let's say you continue molding your life around that. What does life look like in the future? Does it serve you? Does it not serve you? Where will that land you in the future? Where will that land you on your deathbed? 
proud or not very proud? Where will that land you shaking your hand with God? Will that serve your family, your kids, your babies? Will that serve the stranger on the street? By holding on to those beliefs, how is that serving the world? Begin to ask questions, as I've already mentioned. What does my life look like in the future if I hold on to this? What does my life look like now? What does my life look like with my family and the world and the strangers? How do my emotions look? How do my thoughts look? Begin to truly understand through the process of questions. That way you can understand really the result you're going to end up with. Once you become understanding of this, it's very important. The thing that will tilt you moving forward towards a prosperous life and the thing that will tilt you back is mindset. And under your mindset, meaning your thoughts or your language, what's underneath that is your beliefs. By listening to somebody talk and their thought process, you can understand a lot of their beliefs. Because everything that you see in this world is beliefs. Your results you're getting are your beliefs. The relationships you have, the job you have, the money you have, the education you have, everything comes down to your beliefs. So if you can find a thought that is limiting, you can then find it back way to a belief that is limiting. And from there, when you transform that belief, you transform your thoughts and your language, which means it transforms your, your life. So begin to treat yourself like somebody you love. When you have an understanding of, oh my gosh, this if I continue with this, life will be very hard for me. Treat yourself with love. We can take this journey on and transform those beliefs, transform the thoughts, transform the emotions, and more. Although, you need to love yourself. Treat yourself like somebody you love. Instead of saying, I'm ugly, say, I'm beautiful. Instead of saying, I'm fat, say, I love my body. Instead of saying, I'm not dedicated to greatness, say, I am great right now, and it'll be easy to continue to be great. Just begin to transform those selves. If you can't love yourself and because you hate yourself right now and love is a little too much, start small. Begin just saying, I like myself. I like myself. Change that to, I love myself. I love myself and simply treat yourself the way you would treat somebody you love. That's not enough though. You've taken full responsibility. Now you have to take the action and transform anything. Your mindset transformation is a lot, but it's not enough. You have to take action and you have to transform it. The devil is 100% okay with you learning, doing the self-care, doing the books, doing the courses, doing the reading, doing the anything for yourself. The moment that you begin to take transformation and action is when the devil is not okay with it anymore. Because it's making a difference in the world. So are you going to listen to the limiting thoughts that, oh, I'm so poor because the government? That's the devil talking. And guess what? You've been listening to it all along. And look at where it's gotten you. And if your mindset goes, yeah, well, you know, government, company, society, family, friends, that, that's the devil. So let's, let's eliminate that. The problem is most people get caught up, you know, in the one more course, one more book, one more mentality. 
and it's always one more reason why not to take action. It's one more reason not to transform. Yet, if you keep living into, oh, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, your life will never transform. Your mindset needs to transform into today. Today I choose to transform. You're not promised tomorrow, so why would you wait? You want to transform your life into having good relationships with your family, yet you're going to wait tomorrow? Really? You're not very well financially set, so you're going to say, I'll sit on my butt for one more day? Really? When you can't even barely support yourself and your family, you're going to wait until tomorrow? And then it's going to turn into tomorrow and tomorrow. Start today. Take ownership. Are you truly committed if you're waiting tomorrow? Until tomorrow? I would say, hell no. Start acting like you're really committed. If you're actually committed. Start owning it. Start owning that it's your life. Ask yourself, what can I transform? We're going to pull this weed from the roots, pull it out, and we're going to throw it away. And we're going to plant a beautiful flower in its place. What's the flower for you? If it's money that you're having issues with, jobs, business, relationships, self-love, education, what, what flower can we bring into place? Okay, so I'm blaming that I don't have a lot of money on government right now. Okay, so you have the awareness. You transform that. You understand the pain. You understand where it's come from. So what can we transform that into? Okay, so you don't have money. You don't have a job right now. Okay, so it is my responsibility that I don't have money right now. Although I'm going to do every single step every single day and I'm going to give myself 110% to getting a job or starting a business. And after that, I'm going to take the deliberate action in order to get my $1,000, $2,000 in investments and so on and so forth. What's that flower for you? How are you going to transform that? Take ownership over the transformation. So what can you now immediately do and long-term do? Okay, so you need a job. Immediately today, you could go connect with people on LinkedIn. You can go apply for jobs. You could go network. You could go build your resume. What can you immediately do to take action to set that identity change, to set that transformation in place? What can you immediately do? Now, long-term, what can you do? Okay, you can do those small things now, but long-term, you can consistently build your network, building your community, building your relationships. You can immediately acquire the skills necessary to develop your career, your business. You can long-term commit to habits that will develop the result. And then you need to evolve. When you recognize some things aren't working, you need to consistently evolve. And imagine this. Today, you became aware. You understood. You transformed. What does life look like with you taking action? In the short term and the long term, your life will be black and white. From what it is today in a year, think of the world of a difference. Don't be hard on yourself. Act like, treat somebody like somebody you loved. Treat yourself like somebody you loved. And your life will be a world of a difference that will allow yourself to be impactful for yourself, but you will impact the world as you do so. Understand that pleasure. What does life look like by making this one change today? What does life look like for your family, for the future, for your community, for society? What does life look like for yourself? When you shake God's hand, you're going to have a firm handshake because you know that you, you made an amazing, beautiful cake. Or is it going to be gooey and not very great? 
Greatness comes down to choices in life. Without ownership, I wouldn't be a coach today. Without ownership, I'd probably be graduating college right now. Probably in as an attorney or something in business. Now, is that wrong? No. If that's what you've done and that's what you enjoy and that's authentic to yourself, that's, that's what's important. It wasn't important to me. It wasn't authentic to myself. That's why I'm a coach today. So go out. Chase your dreams. Chase your vision. Take ownership. This is your life. Nobody else's. You are like nobody else in this entire world, so nobody can tell you what's right for you. It's important to take the advice. It's important to take the thoughts, the emotions of other people to learn from. But it's important to disregard the things that aren't important to you, that don't serve you. With that in mind, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for showing up every single week. If you found this podcast in the slightest transformational, I would love to hear. Send me a message on Instagram or some social media. Tag me at Braden Bellman. With that in mind, any of the important small details are in the show description or the show notes. So check it out there. If you enjoyed this podcast, check out the list of podcasts. With that in mind, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.